Thank you, sir. Thank you, You know, we were so grateful he decided to help us. This man is truly a hero. I wonder if people will ever realize what I'm talking about. He's just a really compassionate person. He wanted no harm to anyone, to others, to us. When things fall apart, you just never know. You never know what a really intense situation can do to a man. His presence kept a loose cannon from acting out, for the most part. He just radiated this, this calm, fatherly presence. I couldn't communicate with him and I don't know what happened. I don't want to speculate. It would take away from the purity I experienced in him and that wouldn't be right. I wish I could help him more. I just didn't have 180 grand at the moment. I still think Mr. Ma is the most amazing person ever. This kid shouldn't even be in jail. How in the world can you put him in prison for life? For a tragedy he didn't even physically do himself and they know that. What does a 14 year old know anyway? Think about it, please. What does a 14 year old know? Well, he grew up in jail and he's 21 now. And for the past year and a half, 18 months, they've kept him in the hole. Yes, the hole. A ghostly silent concrete shoebox designed for a maximum of a couple of weeks of punishment only. Can you imagine? 
Is this happening in your first world country, America? They don't even do this in Guantanamo Bay. Jonathan's still in Disney Town's dungeon right now. He's bright, he's sensitive, he's silly as hell and super down to earth. I bet he'd be in pre-med or some engineering school right now. I'm just saying this is the craziest thing ever. Johnny here for the first time. Showed up to San Francisco <laughs> and showed up to the best part of San Francisco. Hey Nash Bay baby. And yes, we are not killing anyone. We are not kidnapping anyone. We're just trying to pass time. Trying to weather the storm. That's all. This is our casa right now for the moment. This is our crib. Water. You know, all the basics. What do you want? You want some bananas? No, we don't have crack. We don't have crystal meth. We smoking weed in bananas. <laughs> it's kind of bananas. No, we're not doing the crazy things they're saying. They're thirsty to catch us. We know that. And Friday night in San Francisco. Special Friday night in San Francisco. You know, we cost the taxpayers a lot of money. People work hard to earn a living. More than that, we scared the hell out of people and caused a lot of anxiety and fear. And at the end of the day, I can't say I feel good about that. I can't. I don't know any club tie velvety words to express this. But I do know, with every ounce of my being, I absolutely feel terrible for every single person who was affected because of us. It wouldn't be honest though if I said this extended to the members of the Reality Distortion Club. Most folks don't want to believe that some law enforcement can be a little less than honest, to put it lightly. People have no clue what these guys are capable of if they set their sights on you. Someone asked me as a joke once, Do you know what's the difference between Orange County law enforcement and the Boy Scouts? Well, the Boy Scouts have grown-up supervision. It's a bit naive. Tightly ran organizations such as law enforcement, the culture of how things are done always lead back to their leadership. Without the green light from the top, directly or indirectly, no law enforcement agency would play fast and loose the way they do around here. Oh, believe me, I know a thing or two about that. I got totally crushed by the reality distortion machine a couple of years before the escape. Exactly why I completely lost faith in the system. Was it insanely wrong, wanting to give him one back? I don't know. Maybe there was a better Walt Disney way. I was just hurt. And I ended up hurting you. Really, who polices the police? Please, think for yourself. Question authority. Think for yourself. Question authority.